All right, welcome to hopefully the last part of the series little thing that I wasn't planning to make, but here we are. We're replacing the K5 Pro and we're putting a copper plate that just came in. Said it was gonna come in in three days, but it's been 12 days. All right, there we go, we got it. And uh, they also had thermal paste. Let me put this up there. So let's just look at this uh, copper plate that we got. I accidentally did bend it, so hopefully it didn't fuck it up, which would be annoying if that was the case. There we go. All right. It looks pretty straight and good for me. Push it down the table. Yeah, it feels good. Um, it is very scratchy looking. Or maybe it's just the plastic we'll see this cost it like i don't even remember i'll show i'll show you i'll do some magical editing and you can see how much the price is but it wasn't it was a little expensive there we go i'm having some trouble here <laughs> oh shit there's two of them okay i got two of them apparently um I did not expect that. This looks like it goes on the front side. This looks like it goes on the back, I assume. That's what it looks like to me. So yeah. Let's open this puppy up. Well, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna clean this K5 Pro. I have an idea. Got a toothbrush for it. And I actually took this apart right here. It's like a little clip. Took it apart so I could like scrape it off first. And yeah, let's just get right into it because my camera dies really fast. Huh, this is interesting. As you can tell, it definitely, there's bubbles. Yeah, there are bubbles in it. And it's super fucking wet. Is that from isopropyl al alcohol or? Hmm. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. Is it from the wetness from this? Cause it is like, you know. Oh, it's basically like solid now. It was like, it's not wet, but it was like liquidy. This is um, very interesting. It does look very wet. Yeah, it's very slimy. Okay. This doesn't feel like water. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know why I'm trying to smell it. My smell is horrible. Um, okay then. This would actually be a lot easier to clean now that I look at it, because it looks like this did get hardened. But like, what the fuck? My poor GPU. Look at all that spot. Like, there's holes in these things, which, let me just zoom in. Yeah, you see that? There's holes in it. So, either there's water bubbles or something, or what? That's um, not good. I can see why my VRAM temps was fucking horrible. Jesus Christ. This might have been my... I might have done this from using 50% alcohol. But the thing is, I made sure it was dry. So, I don't know. I'm going to clean this up now. Alright, I'm back. 
charged up a lot of stuff and yeah I got some uh, I forgot what you call them Kton Kap tape I believe but I don't see anything interfering whatsoever I mean it is made for this GPU exactly but I guess I could be safe and just do here here like the corners basically and it looks like they don't put a looks like I'm gonna need a normal a little thermal pad for that because they don't have one for it for some reason well it doesn't go out that far I mean so but thermal pad thermal pad I don't, I don't think I put a thermal pad on here Actually, these two might not need thermal pads um, actually it looks like it does based on that other plate the actual heat sink so yeah thermal pad thermal pad thermal pad and yeah I guess I'll just put on the thermal paste and call it a day. I did make sure it's all, you know, lined up and straight. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Even though know, I am very annoyed that I have to do this in the first place. And that it looks like my GPU got cockied, but <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. So it's been a long time since I made that little time lapse talking thing about actually putting it on. Uh, it actually didn't boot right the uh, GPU, and I've been spending hours on it, and it I thought it was dead for a good while. So I basically had someone, just a friend of mine, clean it better, and they're still having the same problem. And then one day it just magically worked, and they don't know how they fixed it. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to see, I'll just show y'all that, like, they updated their thing. Like, look how cool that looks. It looks so much fancier. It probably doesn't change the thermals that much. But if you look on here, it looks like you could just attach it onto the, uh, like, the cooler itself. Instead of, I don't know, it just looks cooler. <laughs> so I just wanted to update y'all. And this is a 3090 by the way, so like I don't have the support on mine, but this should work on all of the Founder Edition cards. And I just want to say to make sure you read the uh, description, the fits all Founder Editions 3080, blah blah blah. Because if you go and view products, there are different things for certain things. Like, let's say the this one right here. Right here, there's a description. It shows where it fits, like which uh, brand. And then there's one made for EVGA itself, the hybrid plates, you know. And some made for Dells and HPs. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out so you just don't buy the wrong things and X rings or whatever, get all that. So yeah. So a little update uh, compared to my past video of me with the K5 Pro. My 3080 Ti is now in a Hive OS system or OS and it's in this one and it is doing 96 degrees on the memory temperature which is fine for me. But the thing is this is in my mining room which is a lot hotter and it is basically right on this other GPU. 
So, yeah. It's in worse conditions and it runs better, temperature wise. And there was this update where, you know, LHR 100% unlock. Y'all probably already know about that, which is why the Mega Hatch is better. So, I don't really have a. I mean, I do have a way to directly compare how it was long ago, but you could just definitely tell it's just so much better. The copper plate was 100% a success, and I'm very happy that it works. So I can 100% like recommend this company. It took very long to get here, but eh, it's whatever. It is pretty expensive though. I wish they have like they can make it more budget friendly, but I I know copper is expensive now. I don't know. It'll be nice to see see somehow they like cut the price without cutting the performance. But ten out of ten. That's all I could say. Anyway, this is probably one of the quickest videos I ever made is it yeah actually um so yeah please like and subscribe comment yeah goodbye